So what's up traders? Um, today was a green day. Um, I traded a lot better today than I did yesterday. Um, I top ticked the stock and uh, I got some good lessons in there. But before I get into this video, if you could smash the subscribe button, smash that like button. Um, I guess I just want to go on a little bit here before I get into my trade, but like I don't see too many YouTubers out there that show their P&L, show their time in sales. I show it all. I try to be as real as possible. You know, I see a lot of people that um, go on this YouTube and say that they traded this or traded that. They don't show P&L. They don't show time in sales. They show nothing. So you don't know if they're actually paper trading, which I'm assuming, or they just don't want to show you. Like, if you're paper trading, you have no emotions on that trade. So, um, when you guys when you guys smash that subscribe button, it really does help my channel grow. You know, I feel like uh, I can compete with the best of them. Um, and I try to show it day in and day out. You know, I'm, I try to be as real as possible. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into the trade, and I'm going to break it down, but... I just had to say that. So uh, let's see what uh, what I did today. So today I traded the stock XNET. And the reason why I traded this is because I had a gap down. So yesterday this stock, everybody knows, had a massive run up. Here I'll show you if you didn't. If you didn't trade the stock yesterday, um, the stock went from 538s to 680s. And I traded this yesterday. I shorted this at 650 yesterday, and I covered at the at the low of day. So then uh, today, this was on my radar because today I'm thinking, okay, this should have its first red day today. And what what made me believe to believe that it's going to have a red day is it had a massive gap down. I like these massive gap downs. What I really like is when they fill the gap at 570 because that's a really good place you can short off of um so today i was watching this i had a gap down i'm watching this pre-market and i could tell at 510 this 510 area was a huge resistance so that's going to be the area that i'm looking to short or at the 570s so the market's moving on um okay it's about to open and it opens so, let me zoom in a little bit more here for you. So, the market opens and we get to a high of 508. Big wick candle at top. It's very bearish. Stock goes from 508 all the way down to 430. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe I missed my opportunity to short this stock. But what I've seen is that this stock's at least going to try to push up somehow some way at some point in time but you just have to be really patient so i'm watching the stock we get going and here's a here's so we go from 430s up to this 460 it breaks over vwap and it can't hold over vwap so it comes back down retest it and gets rejected so i'm like okay i can't short right here because i'm shorting at support i got i have to wait so we reject off that we come back down this 430 okay now we had a double bottom okay now i'm liking this trade so it starts pushing up higher i'm thinking okay i want to see how this stock reacts at the vwap again so it breaks above it and then right here breaks above comes back down to this 460 and now holds its support so now this is bullish Unlike this time when it broke above and then came back down and got rejected, now now this is bullish. So I'm like, okay, now I'm really liking this. So now I'm getting interested in shorting the stock. So I got a thousand shares to short this, and we go a little bit further right there. I short the stock at 504, and I'm willing to add to this position, but. The best place to short this 
is what pre-market showed me. Pre-market showed me between 5 and 5.10 as the best place to short. And what I'm expecting the stock to do is to close right on the day. So the odds are in my favor at this point. So I get short at 504. My target to cover my position is 480 to 460. And where and where I get that is right here. This is your first little small pullback, 477, and then 460. If it breaks 477 and holds as a resistance, it's going to 460. So these are my two targets to cover my position. Because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking if this stock pulls back this 480 or 460, it's only 1024 in the morning. It still has a lot of time to push up to this 570. So we get going. So right here. Come down this 480s. I'm still holding. We break below 480. Still holding. And then I'm thinking, okay. Right at this point, I'm thinking, okay, we're at 474, so there's only 14 cents of profit that I'm willing to, um, I'm risking 14 cents to make, I'm risking to make 14 more cents, and if this thing goes all the way back up to high day, I'm going to lose everything I have. So, in the back of my mind, this stock should close right on the day, so that's why I'm shorting the stock. So... I cover right here, 477. I cover my position. We break underneath and we pull back above, and that's resistance. You can still hold through this because it's still shown as the 480s as resistance. I chose to take my profit because I wanted to see. I wanted to actually short this higher, but I can't just be like, "Oh, it's going to go to 570s." So I have to play the market I'm in. And the market I'm in is, this is what the chart shows me. You can go from 508 to 460. If you don't choose to take profits there, it can go back up or it can go further down. So I get out there. We break above this 480 as a fake out. And it comes back down to this 460s. So 460s is now support. Come back up. We break below that to 458, and it got a little bit lower, but not much. Now, if I were to hold this to the end of the day, my entry, my exit would have been the same as my entry. So, you know, the stock closed, you know, 475-ish, um, but I top picked the stock. Took my profits, and I had one trade, one done. That was it. I didn't expect a lot out of this stock because it already it already gave up so much from yesterday to today. So, um, the thing that the reason the reason why I shorted the stock is because I had a gap down. I figured it's going to have a red day today. It did have a red day today, and you have to pick the point, the best point to short it if you want to be profitable so i i top ticked the stock i covered where i thought i should cover i yeah i could have went to the 460s but to me 14 cents it's not gonna make me or break me it's not like gonna make a huge win or a huge loss so i took my profits and yeah one and done for the day and tomorrow uh i guess i'll see what the stock's gonna do right now it's not really gonna be huge on my radar unless we can break over this 510 and start pushing up higher then it would but if it keeps going down i'm pretty much done with it but uh here's my pnl short or short right here 504 covered at 477 only had one trade today and that was it so, all in all, it was a good trade. Top tick the stock, and uh, yeah, I can't complain about it. Definitely a lot better than uh, a couple of my trades yesterday. So, uh, until next time, traders, stay green and peace.